would do everyone a huge favor if he just, if he just went away. If he just, please just go away. certain someone we love but we also got that certain someone that we don't need none of and if you agree with these words that i'm talking about then listen to them clearly and let me hear you shout it out <laughs> check it out if you ain't never gonna listen to me hope you don't mind i'ma ask you to leave yeah if you ain't never gonna listen to me hope you don't mind i'ma ask you to leave come on if you ain't never gonna listen to me
Everyone is happening Far as the eye can see Got your feet on tapping They thought you're bumping that beat As if the way is grabbing you As if the way things are I got your feet on grabbing when It's come time to play your part I can't stay Cause I won't be long Grab my hand Help me move up You know that I can't stand Just go no, 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 we can't come close, come close, got it for the low, 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 waited for the six, but it's going slow-mo, yeah, don't go, don't go, I just can't come close, come close, I'm looking for the loco, loco, no, I don't want to postpone, postpone, yeah, whip it, flip it, I just want to get it, going all in and I won't stop winning, whip it, flip it, I just want to get it, let it all go. Stop winning. No, I don't want to hear about your front. A lot of bad stories coming out of one joint. I met a true book in the state of my mind. Now I know a lot of rookies coming over for the title. But I don't want to fight. I just roll the dice. Do it for the money. Yeah, do it for the price. Take it like a man. No, I don't take advice. Put the money on the table like a Russian with the spice. We just go no, 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 no. You just can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go, don't go. You just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the loco, loco. No, I don't wanna postpone, postpone. Yeah, whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Going all in and I won't stop winning. Whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Let it all go and I won't stop winning. No, 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 no. No, it can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, low. Low, low, waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go, don't go. I just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the loco, loco. No, I don't wanna postpone, postpone. Yeah, press, roll, pick up the gold. Taking no loss, am I sitting no more? No stress, go, pick up the flow. Paying no dues, am I sitting no more? I got plenty more to say about the topic, the way I profit. I just went into the store and then I bought it. Yeah, you know, got it for the very low. All the new additions I've been putting on the payroll. All this, I get emotional just thinking about it. Last week I won the poker with my drinking buddies. All this money coming in and yeah, of course the limo ride. And I just hope to keep my focus how I live about it. 
no, 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 it can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waiting for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah. yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't come close, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, <clears throat> so hello everybody. If you can hear me, please say yes in the chat. And I can hear my voice again coming from somewhere. I don't know if my voice comes out in the, uh, I don't know why it always feels like I can hear my voice in the room. All right, but you guys are saying yes, 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 which is good, all right. So everybody can hear me. All right, so hello and welcome everybody and welcome to another Wednesday. Today is, today is Wednesday the 21st of February and it is the year 2018 if, uh, if you're watching this in the future. So, uh, so hello and welcome to the class. If uh, this is your first time, my name is uh, Karim. And uh, I see a lot of uh, I see a lot of people in the chat. Of course, a lot of my usual suspects are in here. So hello, Rosa. Very nice to see you as always. Beatrice is here. Hello, Beatrice. Dalia is here as usual. Deria, de de Deria, Deria. I I think that's your name. Mahmoud is also here. Hello, Mahmoud. Of course, Julian is here. And uh, Julian doesn't want me to hair uh, to wear my hat today. I don't know why. I always wear a hat, Julian. I've been wearing I've been wearing hats since since i was uh, since i was a teenager and uh, i just i like hats i cannot not wear a hat i always wear a hat it's it's part of my personality um and today is this is my second new hat by the way so last week i was wearing the first one this is the second new hat that i have today so uh <laughs> we also have ahmed hello ahmed welcome to the class el musawi is also here 
Rave D. Arij is also here. Arij, ooh, Arij is asking, how old am I? Dum, 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 dum. Let's, uh, let's play a game. I don't know, how, how old do you think I am? You guys, uh, you guys can guess in the chat. And don't worry, I will not, uh, I will not be offended if you think I'm like 89 or something. That's fine. <laughs> well, you guys, you guys can guess in the chat. Uh, who else do we have? Frederick. Hello, Frederick. Welcome to the class. Thank you for coming. Hassaneya is also here. I think I saw Bisma. Yes, Bisma is here. Gertrudis is also here. Hello, Gertrudis. Alan is here today. We have boom, 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 boom. Judith. Judith. Very nice to see you again, Judith. We have Jasim also in the class. We have Abdul Hassan. We have Nalida. Hernandez. Hello, Halida, and welcome to the class. Thank you for coming very much. Um, and who else do we have? You guys are typing so much in the chat, it's hard to see everybody's name. But there is, uh, there's a lot of people in the chat. So uh, thank you guys very, very much for coming to the class. Israel is also here. Hello, Israel. Thank you for coming to the class. Um, where is Summer? I don't see Summer in the chat today. Julian, uh, is Summer in the chat? You might. If she's not, you might, uh, you might have a chance, or anybody might have a chance to win Movie Quote of the Week this week. Um, all right, so let's see. You guys, you guys have been guessing my age. So Julian thinks I'm 100 years old. Um, I could be. Some people are saying 40, 41, 40, um, 39, 33, 38, 32. All right, so everybody, ooh, somebody said 50, uh, 42, 35. <laughs> Everybody's guessing my age. <laughs> All right, so, okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you what my age, uh, what my age is. So, um, so I'm actually 30, what is, uh, what are we, this is February, so next, um, Next May, I will be. Uh, next uh, next May, I'm going to be 39, right? So uh, I am approaching 40, or the big 4-0, as uh, as people call it. But yeah, I'm 39. So Rave D, you actually had my age correct, but then you changed your answer to 42. So you were you were you were correct uh, the first time. So yeah, I was 30, I'm 38 now and I'm going to be 39 in May. So May, and actually let's, 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 let's see. So May, 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 May. Okay, no, it's not gonna be a, I was, I was going to check to see if uh, maybe on, uh, on my birthday, am I going to be streaming or not, but I won't be streaming on my birthday. But yeah, I'm 39, um, or I will be 39 in May. So almost 40, you guys, almost 40. But, you know, when I shave, uh, when I shave my beard, um, when I shave my beard, I, I have what people call a baby face. So I look, uh, I look much younger than I really am when I, uh, when I shave. So usually my white hair is, is what gives it away when I, uh, when I, let, uh, when, when I let my beard grow. But, uh, <clears throat> But yeah, I'm 30, I'm 38. Will be 39 this year. So I'm an old guy. Uh, all right, so hello and welcome everybody to um, another smart English class with me, Karim, every Wednesday. So let me, uh, let me just go a little smaller here so everybody can see what I'm talking about. Pow! And here we go. So don't forget, everybody, you are watching me on the awesome Smart English channel, um, which is where we do all these classes for you guys every week. And uh, thank you for coming every week. Please don't forget, if you have not yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, so you guys will know when the next classes are going to be. You can also scroll down and watch all these other classes by these awesome teachers that we've had before. Scroll down, find my face, click on my face, and it will take you to my page where you will also find some other videos. A lot of people always ask me about the music that I play, so I have a playlist over there. You guys can check out all the music I want. And the playlist also includes Julian's Come Close song, which, uh, by the way, Julian, I really like the song. Like, I, I, I actually enjoy listening to it. And, and uh, yeah, 
it's, it's, a, it's a catchy song. I like it. So uh, come and check me out over there also. And if you guys don't also know, I have my personal channel on YouTube, which is Food AF. And um, it's not English related, but I talk in English so you can practice listening. But this is my personal channel. It's about food. I cook. I talk about food. And sometimes I talk about technology and geeky stuff. But uh, it's mainly, mainly, mainly food. So please, uh, I would love it if you guys can come and check out my personal channel. It would make my day. That means it will make me happy. If you don't know about our Facebook, please join our Facebook group. It's called Learn English on Facebook with Smart. I noticed uh, some people today were asking about our Discord. So this is usually where we also post a lot of things so you guys can um, find all our different things that we're doing. And the group is pretty big and uh, the people are awesome in this group. So everybody likes to help everybody out. Um, so I, re I really recommend that you join. Everybody's really nice and people always help each other out. So even people over here, you can see they're, uh, they're connecting with each other so they can chat and help each other out and everything. Oh, Summer, oh, Julian, Julian, Julian. Summer Julian was very, very happy that you were not here yet today because <laughs> there he is. Julian's like, no, Summer is here. <laughs> so uh, for all of you who don't know, Summer, of course, has been our champion for movie English, or sorry, uh, movie quote of the week. She's been winning every single week without fail for the last, I think, 11 weeks or 12 weeks. It's extremely difficult, if not impossible, to, uh, to beat Summer. So uh, Summer is here, so sorry, Julian. So you're gonna have to work hard for today's uh, movie quote of the week. If you guys also don't know, we have a Discord channel now. Discord is, um, is this really cool app that's originally created for gaming, so people can chat and talk and everything. It's really stable and it's, uh, it's really, really awesome. It's pretty good, actually. So um, I put the link for you guys in the chat, uh, and you can get it also from here, from, uh, from our Facebook group. I'll put it in again for anybody who just came into the chat right now. So there's the link. You guys can click on it. It will take you to Discord. It's free. You don't have to do anything. Just register and um, you can join our smart group on, um, on Discord, which is pretty nice. It's a bit slow at the moment just because, you know, people still don't know about it too much. So we're trying to get a lot of people in. But hopefully once we get people in there, it will be as active as our Facebook group. So, um, so I hope to see you guys over there too. Okay, so let's, uh, let's start. So before I start, let's do the movie quote winner, which as I just said, you guys should know by now, the winner as usual is always Summer, right? Summer is just so good at this, it's very hard to beat her. So last week, the movie quote was this. So his people are completely literal, metaphors go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast, I would catch it. And, uh, and that, was, um, that, was the, uh, that was the movie quote from last week. So Summer was the winner again. And this was from, of course, the very cool, very funny, uh, where is it? Let me show you. So this was from the movie Guardians of the Galaxy, which came out in 2014, right? So this is, uh, this is from the first one, not the second one. So Guardians of the Galaxy, and this was a quote that was being said by, uh, I can't remember his name, but that raccoon, that animal, and he was talking about Drax which is um, the big, uh, this guy right here, right? So he was talking about him. And, uh, and yes, Summer has the cool glasses emoji in the chat. Yes, Summer got the answer as usual, I'm not surprised. So virtual high five again to Summer. Good job, Summer. And Julian is not very happy in the chat about this. All right, so con congrats, Summer. Good job. And uh, stick around to the end of the lesson today, you guys, and I will show you the, uh, this week's movie quote. All right, so let's, uh, let's actually begin today's lesson. That's enough of me doing the introduction. So if you guys have been following, I... Um, oh, Mahmoud joined the Discord. Great. And he's so happy. Great. I'm, I'm, happy, that, uh, I'm happy that you're happy, Mahmoud. Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the Discord group. Um, all right, so let's, uh, let's begin. So before I start, I just want to quickly remind everybody what, it, what we're doing. So two weeks ago, I talked about verb patterns number one, 
and uh, we talked a lot about gerunds. We've talked about gerunds in different situations, gerunds uh, in the negative, gerunds as a subject. Um, and we, we basically, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a chapter really focusing on gerunds a lot. Last week, we continued our verb patterns. And basically, we talked about some different verb patterns. So a verb plus the infinitive. Of course, the infinitive, as you guys know, is two plus the base form of the verb, which is the original verb, or the verb in the first column, or verb one, as, as some of you have learned it that way. Um, what else did we do? We talked about when we use a verb plus an infinitive or a gerund that has the same meaning. So remember these words, begin, continue, hate, like, love, prefer, and start. It doesn't really matter if you use any of these verbs with a gerund or with the infinitive, the meaning is the same. And then we talked about when they have different meanings, right? And we talked about remember and we talked about forget. So when we use the verb forget with a gerund, if you guys remember from last week, what did we say? We said that the action happened, but you don't remember doing it. If you use, um, if you use it, <coughs> if you use the verb remember with gerunds, it means that the action happened and you remember. You do remember doing it. And then when we use remember or forget with infinitives, it doesn't have the same meaning. Remember and forget with an infinitive, you're telling me the reason why didn't the action happen or why the action happened, right? So you're not focusing on the action, you're telling me the reason of it, right? So for example, I forgot to bring my money, right? Here, the focus of the sentence is the reason. And so why didn't you bring the money? Because I forgot, right? So it's the reason. Try, we also talked about try. Try with a gerund means you're trying something maybe for the first time, or you're trying to experiment with it, or you're trying to solve a problem or find a solution for something. Um, and then we talked about stop. Stop with a gerund means that the action finishes or ends, right? So we stopped driving because we were tired, right? We stopped driving. I stopped studying at 9 p.m. last night, right? You're just focusing on telling me that some kind of action finished, right? It's not happening anymore. Oh, I see some competition uh, going on in the uh, in the chat today. Uh, for, oh, Fred, Fred, Frederick is challenging, is challenging Summer, and uh, and he's saying that he's going to win. That's uh, that's a pretty big uh, challenge to go for, uh, Fred. Summer has been undefeated for I think twelve weeks now. Twelve weeks, Summer. That's three months of of nobody being able to beat you, which <laughs> which is amazing. And that was it. That was all the stuff we talked about last week, right? So today will be the last lesson in our verb patterns lessons. And we are going to talk about some things today. Diari from Kurdistan. Hello, Diari. And, uh, and welcome to the class. And we also have Zebava. Zebava Stefan. Laila, hello, Laila. Welcome to the class. Thank you for coming. And yeah, I think that's it. I don't think I've had a student from Kurdistan before. That's, uh, it's nice. Zabava is from Romania. Hello, Zabava, and welcome to the class. Thank you so much for coming. All right, so let us begin. So let's start uh, this week's lesson. From, oh, Karen from Armenia. Hello, Karen. I don't think I've had an Armenian student before. Um, thank you very much for coming to the class, Karen. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get down to it. That means let's, let's begin. Okay, so verb patterns number three. Remember, of course, you can always watch the last two lessons so, because these lessons are sort of built on each other. So if you've missed the last two classes, you can always find them on our smart page and you can, uh, you can watch the last two lessons, which is basically today is a continuation for those lessons. Um, mm, 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 mm. Abdul Aziz from Saudi Arabia. Hello, Abdul Aziz, and welcome to the chat. Thank you for coming. And then we have HK um, X, 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 R, N. Hello. <laughs> That's a very long name to say. All right, so let's, uh, let's start. So let's take a look at uh, today's lesson is not going to be very long, actually, right? Which is, which is a good thing. We're going to finish up the verb patterns, and we can actually do some, uh, some more exercises today. So let's, uh, let's, let's check. So first pattern that we're going to be talking about today is when you have a verb 
plus the object plus the infinitive, right? So verb, and then your object, and then the infinitive, right? So remember, the infinitive is 2 plus um, the base form of the verb. Base form of the verb means the original verb, right? Verb 1, or the verb in the first column. So <clears throat> in this third verb pattern, we use an object, right? So an object can be a person, and it can also be a thing, right? It doesn't have to be a person all the time. But an object, any object between the verb and the infinitive, right? So the object goes in the middle between the verb and your infinitive. So let's, let's take a look at some examples to see what we're talking about. The man begged me to give him money. So begged is my verb in this case, right? The man begged. And then the object is me. Now, what is the object? When we say object, what do I mean by that? So. The object is, an easy way to think about it is, the object is not the person that is doing the action in a sentence, because that is what we call the subject, right? The subject is the person that is doing the action. So in this sentence, the, the subject is what? In this sentence, the subject is the man. Why? Because the man is the person that is doing this verb, begged, right? So the man begged, okay. The man begged me to give him money. So when I say me, why am I the object? Because in this sentence, I'm not, I'm not the one who's doing the action or the verb. I'm the person that the verb or the action is happening to, right? Some people des describe it when you, uh, by saying the person who is receiving the verb, not doing the verb. So yes, there you go, so just like some of you said, right? So Gertrude says the person who receives the action. Exactly. Um, oh, O300. Hello, O300. Welcome to the class. Thank you for coming. So, so I hope that, that that is clear, right? So everybody's clear, hopefully, on what the object means and what the subject is. So the man begged me to give him the money, which is what we said here, right? So the object goes in the middle of the verb and the infinitive. So the man begged. There's your verb. Where's the infinitive? The infinitive is, remember, to... And I always do the number two when I say two, but I don't mean the number two. I mean T-O, the word, right? So the man begged me to give. So this is my infinitive in this sentence, to give, right? To plus give, that's the original or the base form of the verb. So the man begged me to give him money. The teacher allowed the student to go to the washroom. So again, same thing again, the teacher allowed, so that means the teacher is the subject because she's the person that did this verb. So the teacher allowed, and here's your infinitive, to go. So you have to put the object in between, right? So the teacher allowed the student to go to the washroom. Let's invite George to come with us. So there we go, Arij, uh, Arij has an example. She says, my brother asked me to help him with his homework. Yes, Arish, that's a, that's a great example. That's a very good sentence, right? So my brother asked, so the brother asked, so he's the subject, right? So who did he ask? He asked me to help, right? So very good, you put me between the verb asked and the infinitive to help. Julian says, my father asked me to help, my father asked me to help him work out. Yes, very good, that's another good sentence, Julian, right? My father asked, me to help. So me, that's the object, goes in the middle between your verb asked and the infinitive to help. So very good. Yes, you guys are getting it. Very, very nice. It's a nice. That's, uh, <laughs> that's from that movie that I told you guys. So uh, let's carry on. This verb pattern is also possible with the following verbs. Rave D says, my girlfriend wanted me to buy her a Tesla on Valentine's Day. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a very expensive, very, very expensive Valentine's Day uh, gift, Rave D. But, uh, but your sentence is perfect. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. So yes, that's a good sentence, right? My girlfriend wanted, that's your verb, and then you put the object me between it and then the infinitive to buy her a Tesla on Valentine's Day. Uh, Summer has a sentence. My mother asked me to help her clean the house. 
helped me, uh, sorry, asked me to help her clean the house. Uh, white Ocean. Hello, White Ocean. Your name is very, uh, your name is, is very relaxing. Like, uh, you know those CDs you listen to for, uh, for, uh, to help with your sleep? White Ocean. I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know why. When I read that name, it feels like um, you know those CDs that you buy to uh, to help you relax or to help you go to sleep or something like that. So it looks like one of them. You know, like rainforest and something, and then white ocean. It's. Uh, but I'm, I'm not making fun of your name. I'm. Ju I'm just saying it's cool. I like it. It. It reminds me of those things. Uh, <clears throat> My brother offered me to work with him. Yes, that's a good sentence. My mother allowed me to go out with my friends. Yes, Kareem encourages me to study English. Oh, thank you, Gertrudis. But yes, that's a correct sentence. The situation forced me to be silent. That's a good sentence, Alan. My sister advised the ED, right? Because it happened already. Klinira. Klinira? Oh, hello, Klinira. Welcome to the class. That's, uh, I haven't seen you in the chat earlier. But my sister advised me to call a doctor because she already, that happened, right? The action happened, so advice needs to be in the past. Um, my friend told me, my friend told me to keep the secret. Yes, Rosa, very good. My friend told me to keep the secret. Um, yeah, all of you guys are getting it, right? Very, very, very good. Yeah. All right, let's carry on. The verb pattern, or sorry, this, the same verb pattern that we talked about, is possible with the following verbs, right? So advice, allow, invite, order, remind, and tell, right? So advice, allow, invite, order, remind, and tell. Of course, there are some other verbs, but these, these are the verbs we're going to focus on on the lesson today. So for example, my father advised in the past, right? Because he already advised you and you're telling me what he did already, right? So my father advised me to travel for a year before starting university. My father advised me to travel for a year before starting university. And uh, by the way, we actually have a word that uh, we use to describe this. So this is uh, something that's common in some cultures. So usually people, um, when they finish their, some cultures, when people finish their high school, um, it's common for them to, uh, before they start university, they take one year off and they basically travel as much as they can in the world um, or as much as their money <laughs> would allow them to travel in the world. And, uh, and then they go back and then they actually start university. So we have a word for this and we actually call it the big O-E experience. So we, the big OE, right? We call it the big OE. So, sorry, without the word experience, sorry. Just the big OE. So what does OE mean? It means overseas experience, right? So the big OE, the big overseas experience. And that's what it means, right? Usually a year or an amount of time that people um, take to travel the world, see new cultures, experience life before they start their university life. It's called the big OE. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back. Mom, could you tell me, or sorry, could you tell my sister to be quiet, please, right? So same thing again, right? So mom, could you tell, right? So tell is your verb, and then there's your infinitive, to be quiet. So the object always goes in the middle, right? So my sister, in this case, is the object. Um, <laughs> Rosa, Rosa loves the second picture. <laughs> Yeah, the baby. I think. I think. Well, both of them are babies, almost really. But the girl is discovering the uh, the hardships of life at a very early stage. It's it's a bit funny. Um, Summer says my friend advised my friend advised me to attend Kareem's classes. What in Karim's voice? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Why? When we go like this, right? <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this, uh, this was a lesson that we talked about before. So you can go and, uh, and check it out and you'll see what Summer is talking about. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, a good, uh, but that's a good sentence. So 
summer. <laughs> See, it's hard to forget the why when, uh, when you make it that way. All right, carrying on. Would you please remind me to call Jeff? Hey, would you please remind me to call Jeff later? So again, please, would you please remind, so remind is the verb, to call is our infinitive, so your object goes in the middle, right? So please remind me to call Jeff. So remember these words, advice, allow, invite, order, remind, and tell, right? These words go with this pattern, verb plus object, and then the infinitive. Uh, o300 says, answer of the movie quote is Drax. Um, well, Drax is the person that uh, talks in the dialogue that I talked about, but it's not the answer. The, the movie quote uh, is usually uh, 0300 is uh, when I ask you guys to tell me what is the movie, not who's talking. So, uh, so the answer is Guardians of the Galaxy, the first, uh, the first movie. Um, Hassanay is asking, does the verb before the object must always be in the past? Um, no, Hassanay, it doesn't have to be. So for example, here, let's invite, right? Let's invite George to come with us. So invite is not in the past. Um, so no, it, doesn't, it does not have to be in the past. Uh, they forbade us, to, the Bisma says they forbade, forbade, they forbade us to enter the prohibited area. Yeah, that's a good sentence. My brother is inviting me to his marriage next month. My brother invited me to his marriage next month because I'm. He already did that, right? So it should be in the past. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Would you please remind me to take my medicine? Yes, Dalia, that's a good sentence. Uh, oh, man. I, I know that I'm saying this, no, this name wrong, but uh, it says, first time being in your class and uh, can say that it's all good. That's fantastic, Dereya. That's, that's all I want. All I want is for you guys to enjoy this class and learn something from it. That's, uh, that's usually the two targets or the two goals that I have for every stream that I make. Okay, so let's, uh, let's carry on. Allow, <coughs> excuse me, allow and advice can be used with this verb pattern or with gerunds like we talked about in 6.1, right? So remember, today is what? Today we're doing 6.3, so the lesson that we did two weeks ago, same stuff that we did over there. So one more time, allow and advice can be used with this verb pattern um, or with gerunds as we talked about in 6.1. So for example, our teacher allows eating in class. Our teacher allows eating in class. Our teacher allows us to eat in class. Excuse me. So as you can see, the, the meaning is the same. You're, you're not changing what you are saying, but be careful of the, the form, right? Be, be careful when we use the infinitive then you need to have the object here. If you're using a gerund, well, then that's it. You just use the gerund. So let's look at advice. I don't advise, I don't advise visiting there in winter. Why? Because it's much nicer in the spring. I don't advise you to visit there in winter. It's much nicer in the spring. And that's pretty much it, right? So the main, the real point that we're talking about here is just for you guys to realize that we can use allow and advice both with uh, this pattern that we've been talking about today, verb, object, and infinitive, or you can also use it with a gerund. And the meaning is the same, it doesn't change. Uh, <clears throat> the man is begging me to give him money. Yes, Rosa, that's a good sentence in the present. Yeah, you can you can definitely say that. Very, very good. Uh, 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 uh. Can we use it with a negative sentence? Yeah, of course you can, Mahmoud. All you have to do is just um, add your... Um, so for example, our teacher does not 
allow, and because we said does, right? So you don't need the S here. So our teacher does allow eating, or sorry, does not allow eating in class. Our teacher doesn't allow us to eat in class. Yeah, of course you can use it in the negative. No problems at all. My mother allows helping. My mother allows helping her in the kitchen. Um, ye, the, the sentence structure is not wrong, Delia. I, I would just say it's unusual to choose the gerund here because usually y y your mother, it's a very personal thing for you, right? So when, when you say, if you notice here, our teacher allows eating in class, this is a general s statement. That means not just for these students, this is what this teacher does in his classes, right? So even if it's a different student, this still happens. Um, in the case of your mother, I think it makes more sense to say, my mother, where's your sentence? My mother allows us to help her in the class. I think it's, it makes more sense to use the infinitive because it makes more sense because you're talking about your mother. She probably allows you, right? Not, 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 not anybody. It's not, a, it's not a very general meaning to the sentence. Um, my father doesn't allow me to stay out late. Yes. My mother doesn't allow me to eat in my room. Yes. All you guys have very good sentences. It's nice. <laughs> Let's carry on. Okay. With or without objects. With or without objects. So the following verbs can be used with infinitives with or without objects. So. We can use them in an infinitive sentence. All we're saying is you can use it with an object or you can use it without an object. So what are the verbs? The verbs are ask, expect, need, want, and would like. So let's, uh, let's compare the differences. Dalia says she gets it. Great. Very good. Compare the differences between the two verb patterns. So let's take a look, right? So one side is going to be the infinitive. One side is going to be the same, but with the object, right? So remember, we're doing the same thing. The only difference is one has no object and the other has the object. So Angela asked to leave. Angela asked to leave. Now, what are we saying here? Who, who wants to leave in this sentence? So in this sentence, when you say Angela asked to leave, what you should understand is Angela is the person who wants to leave and she's asking for permission, right? So Angela wants to leave. So probably she said something like this, may I please leave? What, what did Angela say? Oh, Angela asked to leave, right? So Angela is asking for herself here. Now let's notice the difference. What happens if I put an object? Angela asked Simon to leave. Now, it's a completely different meaning. Angela is not asking if she can leave. She's telling somebody else she wants them to leave. They, she wants them or the other person that she's talking to to go away, right? So she probably said something like, hey, Simon, please leave, right? So she asked Simon to leave, not she's asking, she didn't ask for permission for herself. Um, let's take a look at another example. We expect to be there around uh, 7 p.m. We expect to be there at around 7 p.m. So we expect to be there. That means what? We think we will be there at around 7 p.m. Now, if I put an object, we expect you. We expect them. We expect the president. We expect whatever, anybody, right? Whatever object you want to put. We think, now we're saying what? We're not, ta we're not saying that we are going to be there at 7. We th we're saying we think that you or whoever the object is that you put there, they are going to be there at around 7 p.m. Rashid, Marhoun, hello Kareem. Hello Rashid, thank you for coming to the class. Um, I asked, Arij has an example, I asked to leave the meeting this morning. Yes, that's a correct sentence and it means Arij wants to leave, so she asked, right, to leave the meeting this morning. Very good. My friend asked me 
to feed their cat while he was away. Very good, Jacqueline. That's a very good. Uh, that's a very good sentence, and that's uh, that's a very annoying thing to do, right? Because 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 I have a cat, and whenever I leave somewhere, it's uh, it's uh, it's a headache to try to find somebody who's going to who's going to take care of your uh, take care of your pet. But uh, but yeah, that's a great sentence. I need to help. I need to help. That means what? That means you want to help. It's important for you to help, to, to provide your help to somebody else, right? You want to, uh, to help someone else. If you say, I need you, I need you to help, that means what? I'm not saying that I want to help somebody. You're saying you want whoever the object is. I need you, I need them, I need my students, I need my managers, I need my team. Whatever you want to say, right? The object now, the verb basically now belongs to the object. Or the verb means that you want the object to do something, not yourself. So just remember this, right? When we use the verb plus the infinitive, usually that means whoever this person is, this, this verb or the action in the sentence is related to them, right? So Angela asked to leave. That means Angela is the person that wants to leave. We expect to be there around 7 p.m. That means we're talking about ourselves. We are going to be there at 7 p.m. I need to help. You're talking about yourself again. Once you put an object, that's it. Now the action becomes related to the object. They are the people or they are the ones that want to do the action in the sentence. And I hope that that is clear. I asked him to leave the room because I needed to study. Yes, that's a very good sentence, Clinera. I need you to help me. I need you to help someone. Yes, Arich, that's, uh, that sentence is fine. Garima says, oh, hello, Garima, and welcome to the, welcome to the class. I didn't, I didn't see in the chat. The police asked us to leave the ground, or the grounds, I would say, um, after the festival celebration. The police asked us. Yes, that's a good sentence, Garima. You need to fix a little bit of it, but, uh, but, but yes, you're getting the verb pattern correctly. Alan says, uh, so they are different. Yes, they're different meanings, Alan. You're not saying the same thing. I need to lose weight. I need you to lose weight. Yeah, very good. So Dalia has, uh, Dalia has a simple sentence here to show the difference which is very similar to the ones that, uh, that we were doing. Um, very similar to what we were just talking about here, right? So Dalia, for example, dun, 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 says, and weight is with an E, and I should be capital. Always, 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 always. When you say I, it should be capital. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look at Dalia's uh, Dalia's sentence here, right? Let's make it a bit. Uh, let's go for twenty. There we go. So I need to lose weight. That means I want to lose weight for myself. I need you to lose weight. Means I want you to lose weight, not me. I'm not talking about myself anymore. I'm talking about you here, right? So when you put an object in the sentence. That means you want this person, whoever it is, it doesn't matter who the object is, but the point is you want the object to do whatever it is you're going to say after that. Um, oh, there we go, blue screen behind me. Thank you guys for telling me. I think I pressed, yeah, I think I pressed on a button by mistake. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, so, um, all right, you can see the screen now. Yes, you can see the screen. Okay, so all I was saying was um, here, I need you to lose weight. I, I, sorry, I need to lose weight and I need you to lose weight. So just remember, when you put an object, that means you want that person or that thing or the group of people. It doesn't matter who it is, right? But you want the object to do this verb. Without the object, it means you're talking about whoever it is that the subject is in the sentence here. Uh, 
Uh, it is clear, it is clear, it is clear. Very nice. Good. Everybody is getting it. Oh, nice. A lot of you are saying that it's clear, which is great. Great. <laughs> I have to, I always have to make funny voices when I speak. I don't know why. It's not a very good thing for an English class. But I always say the normal way also. So just, uh, it's, uh, it's a habit of mine that I can't stop. Okay, so um, that's it, you guys. That's pretty much the lesson for today, right? So this is actually all the lesson for today. And that will be the end of verb patterns. And uh, next week, we'll do something else. But um, I hope you guys understood this. Please uh, try to watch these three videos um, in order because they build on each other. So verb patterns one, which I did two weeks ago, we started with the basic information. Um, and then verb patterns two, we added some more information to what we talked about in the first week. And uh, today is the end of this three-part lesson. So if you've missed the first two, make sure that you watch them. And that's, uh, and that's pretty much it. So we have some time today to do, some, uh, to do some exercises. Um, so let's do some exercises. So this is the exercise, yes, da, da, da. let me sign in. They always sign me out, always sign me out. Kaleem live, yes. So let me make a copy first for you guys. Dum, 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 dum. By the way, while, uh, while I'm doing this, Julian, uh, I need to ask you a question. So Julian, since you are a pro, super pro gamer, um, I was uh, I was wondering, what would you recommend for uh, an ultra wide display screen? So, uh, what would be your recommendation, Julian, for an ultra wide monitor for uh, for a PC? Uh, let me change this. Anyone with the link, say yes. Copy. All right, so I put, uh, I put the link for you guys in the uh, chat. Please uh, download this and uh, make sure that you make a copy for yourself so you can type in the, in the document. And, uh, and we will uh, we'll start. We'll start with these exercises. All right, so let's uh, let's choose something to do. I don't I don't want to do the first exercise. It's too uh, I think it's too simple. So let's where is it? I saw the exercise earlier today when I was preparing. Uh, no, not this one either. Uh, 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 uh. Rashid is saying thanks a lot. You are welcome. I don't know what you're thanking me for, but uh, you're welcome anyway. <laughs> yes, this one. All right, so let's uh, let's start with exercise number. It was the, yes, this one. So exercise number three. So let's uh, let's go bit by bit. So let's first uh, check what we need to do. So, right. So it says describe what each person says with infinitives, right? So we are going to be using, excuse me, basically the infinitive here, right? So describe what each person says with the infinitive. So two plus your base form of the verb. Some need objects, but some do not, okay? So some of these sentences, you will need to put the object with, the, uh, with this pattern. And remember, when we put the object, it goes between, right, your verb and your infinitive, right? So the object goes in the middle. But some of the sentences don't need or you shouldn't put an object um, in them. So to make this easy to control, please, in the chat, I know you guys love doing exercises and you keep answering a lot, but so I can see your answers and so we can manage things, let's please keep it to the first one, two, three, four. Let's do the first four, right? So B, C, D, 
and E, okay? So B, C, D, and E. Uh, Gertrudis says, please, bigger. Um, you can download the document for yourself, Gertrudis. I, I shared it with everybody, so you, you, can, you, can, you can make a copy for yourself of this document. Because I don't think I can go bigger than this will be too... Um, let's try. Wow. Okay. I can manage like this, but the, I, I can't go any bigger than this, Gertrude. This is the biggest that I can uh, that I can go. So one more time, guys. B, C, D, and E from exercise number three, right? So go down in the document, go to exercise number three, and we're going to do B, C, D, and E, right? So remember, one more time describe what each person says using an infinitive. Some sentences you will have to put an object and some sentences don't need the object. So like the first one, Julie, may I go to the bathroom? So, and you have to use, you have to tell me or you have to describe what Julie did. And you have to use this verb. So it becomes Julie asked to go to the bathroom, right? Julie asked to go to the bathroom. She asked about herself, right? She wants to go. So Julie asked. We don't need the we don't need the object because she's asking about herself. So Julie asked to go to the bathroom. All right. So B, C, D, and E. I'll give you guys a minute, a minute and a half, and uh, and I'll come back in one second. A one. We just go no, 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 we can't come close, come close, got it for the low, 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 waited for the six, but it's going slow-mo, yeah, don't go, don't go, I just can't come close, come close, I'm looking for the local, local, no, I don't want to postpone, postpone, yeah, whip it, flip it, I just want to get it, going all in, and I won't stop winning, whip it, flip it, I just want to get it, let it all go. Stop winning. No, I don't want to hear about your front. A lot of bad stories coming out of one joint. I met a true book in the state of my mind. Now I know a lot of rookies coming over for the title. But I don't want to fight. I just roll the dice. Do it for the money. Yeah, do it for the price. Take it like a man. No, I don't take advice. Put the money on the table like a Russian with the spice. We just go no, 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 no. You just can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go, don't go. You just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the local, local. No, I don't wanna postpone, postpone. Yeah, whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Going all in and I won't stop winning. Whip it, flip it. I just wanna get it. Let it all go and I won't stop winning. No, 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 no. No, it can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, low. Low, low, waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah, don't go, don't go. I just can't come close, come close. I'm looking for the local, local. No, I don't wanna postpone, postpone. Yeah, press, roll, pick up the gold. Taking no loss, and I say to no more, no stress. Go, pick up the flow. Paying no dues, and I say to no more. I got plenty more to say about the topic, the way I profit. I just went into the store and then I bought it. Yeah, you know, got it for the very low. All the new additions I've been putting on the payroll. All this, I get emotional just thinking about it. Last week I won the poker with my drinking buddies. All this money coming in, and yeah, of course the limo riding. I just hope to keep my focus how I live about it. No, 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 it can't come close, come close. Got it for the low, 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 low. Waited for the six, but it's going slow mo. Yeah. yeah no, 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 no.
Okay. So let's uh, let's check. Somebody was asking me in the chat if um, if I uh, if I if, if if I'm trying to speak in uh, or if I was speaking in a Scottish accent. And uh, no, it's just that uh, sometimes, right? Sometimes I like to play with some words that I say, especially when I tell you guys that you guys did a good job or uh, or things are great or whatever. So if you meant when I said great then yes, right? I was making a funny accent when I said great. But uh, I make sure that I say the word and then I say the normal way also, right? So great or great <laughs> is, what, uh, is what I was saying. All right, so let's, uh, let's check your answers. Okay, so the first one is B. Manager, so okay, so we have a manager here and the manager says, Evelyn, could you please come to work at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning? Evelyn, can you please come to work at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning? So let's see what you guys did. So this is B, 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 B. The manager would like Evelyn, the manager would like Evelyn to come to work at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning from summer. Uh, Delia says, Evelyn, would you please like comedy? The comedy. Evelyn, would you please, the manager asked Evelyn to come. Evelyn, would you like to come? Evelyn, would you like to come? Evelyn, would you like to come? Okay, so I'm, I'm noticing some of you misunderstood what we have to do here. So some of a lot of you are writing what the manager. Um, a lot of you are, are are just adding the word "would like" in this sentence, but you're still telling me. You're saying it as if the manager is speaking, and, and that's not what we need to do. So what you have to do here is you have to describe to me what this person is doing. So if you notice here, Julie, and then we have quotation marks because it means this is Julie speaking. When Julie was speaking, she said, may I go to the bathroom? Now, let's say for example, Julie told me this, right? So Julie came to me and she said, hey, may I go to the bathroom? And then somebody else is asking me, what happened? Or what did Julie, uh, why, does, uh, why was Julie talking to you? And then I'll say, I'm explaining now to a different person what Julie said. So I'll say, oh, Julie asked to go to the bathroom, right? So that was the exercise, you guys. So some of you got the answer correctly, which I'll put in front of you right now. So this is the correct answer that you want. So you want to say, the manager would like Evelyn to come to work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. That's it, right? The manager, you're describing what happened in the sentence. So the manager is talking to Evelyn and he's saying to her, hey, Evelyn, could you please come to work tomorrow at 8 a.m.? And then somebody asks you, what happened? And now you're describing it, you're describing to them what happened. So you say, oh, the manager would like Evelyn to come to work at 8 a.m. tomorrow, right? So that's, that's the exercise, you guys. Because I think some people got confused by, uh, by what we need to do. Um, okay, let's uh, let's try the second one. So the second one says, Jack, or Jack is speaking, right? So Jack is saying, I hope it rains tomorrow. I hope it rains tomorrow. Now you have to, again, you have to describe to me what Jack is saying or what Jack wants or what happened with Jack and you have to use the word want. So let's see what you guys are saying. So, uh, 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 uh. so yeah, see, I, I, I again, some of you, but yeah, because you guys misunderstood what to do with the exercise, so you, you didn't really answer the way that we are supposed to answer. But some of you got the answer. So Jack, um, Jack wants it to rain tomorrow. Uh, Jack wants, Jack wants, Jack wants, Jack wants. Yeah, I would say Jack wants it to rain tomorrow, right? So Jack wants, because that's, that's the verb that we have to use in this example. So Jack wants it to rain tomorrow. Jack wants it to rain tomorrow. Let's try another one. Andrea. Andrea, so again, Andrea is speaking. She's speaking now. So she says, 
please give me a call this evening, Leah. Please give me a call this evening, Leah. And you have to explain what just happened, and you have to use need. So this is a D, 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 D. Um, mm, 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 mm. I think, where was it? I think when I was looking at the answers, I think Rosa had... Uh, Leah needs to give me a call to address. Um, yes, there we go. So Summer, Summer has the correct answer. And basically, this is uh, this is what you want to say, right? So you're again, you're explaining what happened. So using need, you would say Andrea needs Leah to give her a call this evening, right? Because uh, I noticed some of you mixed it. Some of you said Leah needs Andrea to call her. That's not what happened. That's not what's happening. Because Andrea is is the one speaking to Leah. She's saying to Leah, "Hey Leah, I need you to call me." Right. So Andrea needs Leah to give her a call this evening. Um, Andrea needs to give Leah a call this. Andrea needs Leah to give. Yeah, be careful, Darwin. It's not Andrea that needs to call Leah. It's Leah, right? Andrea needs Leah to call her, right? Um, Hassanaya says, I switched the... Yes, you switched the persons, right? But uh, as long as you understand what happens, that's fine, right? It's fine to make mistakes as long as we understand what the mistake is. That's, that's, that's more useful, actually, than getting it right the first time. So don't worry about the mistakes as long as you understand the, the correction. That's, what's, that's what really makes a difference in, uh, in understanding. Um, and I think we're also doing E, right? Yes, we're doing E. Okay, so Jackson is speaking, and Jackson says, I'm sure I will fail. Jackson does not believe in himself very much. But yes, I'm sure I will fail. So you have to explain to me, again, what, uh, what happened using expect. So let's see what you guys are saying. This is e e e e e e e. e. Uh, uh, yes, very good. Some of you are putting in some new answers now because you understand the question now. Very good, very good. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. A lot of you are getting the correct answer now after the explanation. Very good. So Jackson expects to fail, right? So Jackson is a he, so he expect takes the S, right? So Jackson expects to fail. And that's uh, and that's pretty much it. So uh, very good. Very good. Uh, Andrea told Leia he needed to be called. Is this also correct? Andrea told Leia. Andrea told Leia. Um, she, not he, uh, Rosa. Uh, um, both of them, um, Leia and Andrea, are both uh, are both female names. So I would say she. But yeah, that's it. Um, Andrea told Leia she needed to be called. Um, yeah, it's correct, but I would say this is a much more common structure, right? So Andrea needs Leia to give her a call this evening. It's a much more common uh, way of saying that. Uh, mm -mm, Arij says, can I use... Jackson expects him to fail. Ooh, no, you cannot say that, Arij. No, you can't use him. Um, because if you're, remember, if you put an object in here, if you put an object in this sentence, that means Jackson expects someone else to fail. And this is not what's happening. Here, Jackson said, I am sure. Jackson's talking about himself. So this is an example of a sentence where, no, you don't need, you shouldn't, not just you don't need, you shouldn't put the object because it will change the meaning of the sentence. It will mean that somebody, Jackson, expects someone else to fail. 
But we're saying that Jackson expects himself to fail. Um, even if we write Jackson, no, so exactly, just the way that I said it right now, right? Jackson expects himself to fail, but it's redundant. Redundant is, means what? When you repeat the same thing twice and, and, and there's no need or there's no use for it, right? So I already said Jackson, and this is the meaning of, this is why we're doing the verb, um, this is what basically what we were talking about this verb pattern here today. Um, this, is, this is what the verb plus the infinitive means, right? That's why we use this form. So you don't have to say things like, Jackson expects himself to fail. That, that's the whole point. That's the reason why we're using this verb structure, because this is what it means. It means Jackson here is talking about himself. Uh, got it, got it, got it. Thanks. OK, great. Everybody's getting it. Nice. Let's, um, let's change the exercise. Let's go to. Um, let's go to exercise four. Let's try. Let's try to do four. Right. So four says, <coughs> Charlie wants Michael to give. Charlie wants my. Charlie wants Michael. Is this one of the? Uh, is this one of the things in the exercise? Charlie wants Michael to give. I don't know where is that Gertrudis. Uh, where is it? Oh, okay. Um, okay. So what did you say? You said Charlie wants Michael to give his autograph. To give his autograph. Um, I would say you need you need the object. So I would say here, Charlie wants Michael to give him, right? So even here, it says what? It says, could you give me, right? Could you give me your, auto your autograph? So Charlie wants Michael to give him his autograph. Um, or her, if Charlie is a girl, yeah. OK, let's, uh, let's do a different exercise. Let's go to exercise number four. So number four says what? It says complete each sentence with a verb from the table in either its gerund or in its infinitive forms. So we are going to um, we are going to use these verbs, you guys, right? So don't choose any verbs from 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 anywhere else. You have to use these verbs. So one more time, complete each sentence with a verb from the table, either in its infinitive or in the gerund form. So for example, the first one, what did Michael advise you about the problem? So notice here, right? We have advise, so Michael advise, but we put an object, right? We put an object here. So I would say to do, because that's the pattern, right? So what did Michael advise you to do about the problem? Um, all right, so let's, uh, same thing, you guys. Let's do B, C, D, E. So this one is easy. You're not going to type too much. So let's do B, C, D, E, and F, OK? So B, C, D, E, and F. So I'll give you guys another minute. Remember, use these verbs in this table up here and try to put them in the sentence, either in the infinitive or in the gerund, right? So think about the structure. I'll give you guys a minute, and I will be back in a moment.
Okay, we're back. So, uh, so let's see what you guys did. I think you guys are doing much better in this exercise. So let's suck shark. And, uh, oh, sorry, I, I didn't see you there, uh, Stenio, but uh, hello and welcome from Brazil. Thank you very much for coming to the, uh, to the class. Um, okay, so where are we? Wow, there are so many answers. <laughs> it's so hard to find everything. Uh, all right, I think this is, yeah, this is the beginning. Okay, shall we call Janet and invite her, right? So notice, notice the pattern here, right? So invite, there's your verb, and then you have an object, right? So shall we call Janet and invite her? So most of you said to come, to come, to come, to come, to come, to come, to come. And that's it. That's the correct answer, right? So you should have put the infinitive version here because you have her, right? You cannot say invite to come. That doesn't work. So invite her because we have the object. We say to come with us to the park. And that should be the answer that you want. All right. Let's, uh, let's try C. So C says, wow, this old photo is amazing. Stacy, do you remember something? This strange hairstyle. Stacy, do you remember? So what do we, uh, what do we have here? Um, this is C, right? Yeah, C. Uh, all right, very good. Yes, most of you, almost all of you, used the gerund form very good and if you guys uh, if you remember from last week when we talked about when we use remember with a gerund right um and all that sort of stuff i'm not going to explain it again now you can watch last week's lesson but yes right you need the gerund form here so so stacy do you remember having the strange hairstyle right i'm asking you do you remember having this and do you remember it um, D, I absolutely love something, video games on my new TV. I absolutely love, I absolutely love, so what do we, uh, what do we say here? I absolutely love, this is D. Um, okay, so some of you said playing. I absolutely love playing video games on my new TV. I absolutely love to play, some of you wrote that, and and it's um, you're both correct. So a virtual double high five for everybody. <laughs> yeah. So yes, that's it. Remember when we talked about some verbs have the same meaning when you use them with the infinitive, or if you use them with a gerund. And love is one of those verbs. So again, for the people who missed the last two lessons. This is, uh, this information is basically from there, right? So if you missed the last two lessons that I did, please watch them and you will understand what I am talking about. So to everybody, I think Julian, yep, Julian, and uh, Clinera. I think some people, some people noticed that you can use both. So very nicely done, you guys. Very, very well done. E, it says, who are you going to choose? With the, uh, who are you going to choose with you on your vacation? Your mother or father? So who are you going to choose? And what did you guys say for E? E, 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 E. To take, to take, to take, to take, to take, to take, to take. Yeah, very good. Very, very good. Everybody got the correct answer for this one. Who are you going to choose to take? Right, so that's the structure for this sentence. Who are you going to choose to take with you on your vacation? Your mother or your father? Most people will say neither. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, who are you going to choose to take with you on your vacation? Your mother or your father? Some people will say both. Some people love to hang out with their parents. Usually I find that the older you become, the more you enjoy 
to hang out with uh, with your parents, um, or at least that's uh, that's what I noticed in my life growing up for me and uh, for many people that I see around me. Usually, the o the older you get, the more you enjoy and you don't mind to uh, to hang out with your uh, with your uh, with your mom and dad. All right, last one F. What do you hope? What do you hope? Something when you go shopping on the weekend. What do you hope? So everybody, um, yes, very good. Everybody got this. Uh, everybody got this right. Fantastic. Very nicely done, you guys. What do you hope to buy when you go shopping on the weekend? What do you hope to buy when you go shopping on the weekend? And, uh, and that's it, that's the correct answer. So um, I think a lot of you basically got it, so fantastic, everybody's getting uh, what I'm talking about. If you've missed some points that I've talked about today, it's probably because you missed the last two lessons, right? So as I said, this was lesson number three from a three-part lesson, so I recommend that you watch the first two. So this lesson today makes sense. Um, And that's, uh, and I think that's pretty much it. So, um, so yeah, so please don't forget. So the first lesson was verb patterns one, and we did this, today's the 21st, so we did this on the 7th of February, so two weeks ago we did this. On the 14th, which was last week, we did verb patterns two, and today we did verb patterns three, right? And these three lessons are connected or they are linked together. Um, yes, Arid, you should listen to Rosa. Rosa's correct. Only to buy, not buying. The buying doesn't work in that example. If you forgot why, Arid, watch the videos that I talked about before. Okay, so let me, uh, let me do my thing. And then uh, you guys did a great job today. So uh, I'm very, very happy. Um, but you, you guys always do a good job. Every week, you guys are always on point, which is, uh, which is very good. Um, you make my job a lot easier. All right, so let me finish. Um, oh, you're welcome. Yes, you're, you're very welcome. You guys, I tell you, you don't have to say thank you. You are super welcome. I love doing this every Wednesday. It's, uh, it's, my, uh, it's my happy time during the week where I come and do the stream and hang out with all you fantastic people. So thank you for making my Wednesdays awesome sauce. Um, all right, so before I go, oh, Julian, I don't know where you went, but I think you disappeared for a while. I was asking you, since you are a pro gamer, you're an elite gamer, um, what ultra wide screen would you recommend for me to buy? So I don't think you can put links in the chat here. So please, um, if, you, if you can tell me on the Discord, if you can put a few links on the Discord for what you recommend. I want to buy an ultra-wide computer monitor. And, um, and uh, I have an NVIDIA card, so because of the G-Sync and the FreeSync. And I'm talking about geeky things right now. But uh, yes, please, Julian, if you can help me with a recommendation for an ultra-wide monitor, um, I would appreciate it. Okay, so let me do the ending stuff and uh, I'll give you the movie quote for this week and um, you guys can go and enjoy the rest of your days, your nights, your evenings, wherever you are in the world. Oh, Italo Dantes, hello Italo, thank you very much. Oh, he's saying it's clear now. Yes, those are the words that I want to achieve or hear all the time. When, when a student says it's clear, that's fantastic. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so as I said, and as I say every week, please don't forget, you are watching me and uh, us and everybody here that uh, streams from Smart English on the Smart English YouTube channel, right? So just type smart, please don't forget smart, is spelled S-M-R-T, um, English, and it will take you to our page. Please hit the like button, um, hit the subscribe, hit the bell notification. We already surpassed 100,000 subscribers because of you awesome people, and we are super excited here. Julian still didn't tell me about the silver button. We didn't get the silver button, so I don't know, I don't know um, 
where that is yet. But uh, I told him when we get the silver button, bring it here to the studio so I can uh, so I can show it to everybody because it's you guys. You guys got us the silver button. Without you, we would not have done it. So thank you very much for that. So um, please subscribe to us over there. You can also find my personal channel at the bottom here. So click on that. That will take you to uh, Smart English with Kareem, where you will find some English-related videos that are a little bit shorter, and uh, the playlist for all the music that I play when you guys are doing exercises and in, in the beginning and in the end of the video, because a lot of people keep asking me about that. So I, 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 made, the, I made the playlist here. Um, yes, I know, Summer. I know. I want the silver button, too, and I want to show it to you guys. So don't worry. As soon as I get it, I'll, uh, or as soon as I know that Julian got it, I will bug him until he gives it to me. And then, uh, well, not give it to me, at least like let me, until he lets me show it to you guys. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then, yeah, we'll see. But thank you, Summer, because you were part of us getting that silver button. Of course, my only, uh, or sorry, my also my personal channel here is called Food Space AF. So um, go to that, and I think you guys will find some interesting videos. I cook some food that is not very tra typical or traditional in most uh, places. I, I don't use recipes, so I always cook stuff from my head. And um, my wife seems to like my food, so um, she says it's good. <laughs> so I hope you guys check it out and, uh, and tell me what you think. Um, our Facebook group, Learn English on Facebook with Smart, please join us over there. It's really active. A lot of people talk with each other every day. There's questions that people ask all the time, and people like to help each other. Um, people like to help each other out. So it's a really nice active group. Um, our Discord, and I think, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It was here. Julian had it uh, pinned to the top, but I don't see it now anymore. Um, or I think it was under this picture. Uh, yeah, there we go. So I'll put it. Uh, I'll put it for you guys in the link right now because I know some of you came a little bit later to the class. So it's in the chat right now. Click on the link. It will take you to our Discord page, which is this place over here. And um, it's a bit smaller than our Facebook group because we just started it a few weeks ago. So uh, it might not be as active, but slowly it'll get there, right? So just like the Facebook group. Add your friends. The more people we have in here, the more active it's going to be. And uh, yeah, we can chat with each other here, sort of ask questions. You can even chat with your voice if you want to have somebody to chat with, to practice with. So Julian, please don't forget, put your recommendation for me um, in, uh, in here, right? You already know. You always chat with me over there. So um, how do we add? Um, 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 um. Um, I think if you, if you just join the smart, which should be in the link that I gave you, you automatically see everybody. I think that's how it works, right? Unless, unless I am mistaken. But that's usually, uh, that's usually how it works, I think, uh, Mahmoud. Um, so yeah, usually when you join, like the general, uh, where is it? The general chat over there. So it will show you here usually who's, uh, who's online and what's going on and all that sort of stuff. Uh, smart. Um, <coughs> your Discord ID should be next to your name. So if you click on, there you go. If you click on your name, right? So right there, uh, Mahmoud is asking. If you click on your name at the top right, it will show you your IDs, right? So my ID is Kareem space smart, and then number three or hashtag used to mean number when I was a kid uh, before people started calling it a hashtag. <laughs> Uh, I'm 39. So yeah, so number and or hashtag 3025, right? So that's that's usually where you find it. So you just click on your name and um, and then you can just you can just copy paste it from uh, from there. And that's uh, and that's pretty much it, you guys. So uh, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, for coming to today's class. So let me do the movie quote of the week, and uh, we have. Um, who is it, Frederick? Yeah, Frederick. Frederick is uh, Frederick is saying that he's going to beat Summer this week. That's a that's a that's a very bold statement, Frederick. Summer is the reigning champion, but uh, but yeah. But, uh, oh, Dahlia. Okay. Well, 
I don't know why you came to the to, to today's class when you were doing all of this today, but thank you so much for coming. I really, really appreciate it. And congratulations for your friend. Um, <clears throat> Italo is saying, I'm downloading, but I don't know what it is yet. It's, uh, it's a chat application, um, Italo, right? So it's, it's similar to, um, it's a place basically where we just make groups for ourselves and we chat. Um, but this is used by a lot of gamers because it's nice and stable. So, um, so that's why we are using it uh, for here because we want to start building chat rooms that you can talk to each other. And uh, this is a very good application to do so. And what's also really good about it is you can, uh, you can put it on your phone um, so you don't have to use your PC, right? So you can, on, you can even chat. And we can chat with each other using our phones, using your voice with your phone mic, and all that sort of stuff. All right, so let's do movie quote of the week. And I will let you guys go after that. So let me take it off screen. Remember, for the new people uh, who just joined the chat today, don't, uh, when I say the movie quote, if you know what the movie is, please, 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 don't tell me in the chat right now, okay? I will delete your answer if you put it in the chat. So wait after the video is finished. And uh, after the video is finished, you, uh, so usually I, I say the movie quote, I close, I play music for one minute, and then I close the video. So um, wait until the video is finished, and then type it in the comments. Please don't tell me in the chat. I will, if you do, even if you're first, I will not count it. So, um, so in the comment section, please. All right, so here we go. Here's the movie quote for this week. It's, um, where is Arij? Is, is Arij still here? This is not a very old movie, Arij. Because Arij always makes fun of me for bringing old movies. Or she calls them old movies. For me, they're not. Which, I guess, again, shows my age. <laughs> okay, so here we go, you guys. So this is, um, what's happening is, there's a, in this scene, so this person, he's standing and he's being uh, surrounded by the police. And, uh, and the police, they want to arrest him. So he's standing there with his hands up and he's saying, Wait, I didn't steal anything. I was just returning something I stole. Right? So that's, uh, <laughs> that's the quote. One more time. Wait, I didn't steal anything. I was just returning something that I stole. Right? And, that's, uh, and that's, that's basically the quote. I'll show it to you guys for a second, and then I will take it off. Here it is. Whoa, I almost dropped the mic over there. But uh, here it is. So wait, I didn't steal anything. I was returning something that I stole. And boom, that is all I'm going to show you for that. So that is it. Let me go big. Big. There we go. I'm big. So uh, ta -da -ta -da, what are you guys saying in the chat? Summer says, actually, I was at a wedding party today, but I still made it to the class. That is impressive, Summer. That is really impressive. Usually people are just too full from food or too tired after a wedding. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much for coming. And of course, I know you couldn't let Julian take your title from you, which is, uh, which is probably why you're here. <laughs> and then that's fine. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Oh, you're very welcome, Bisma. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for your kind words. OK, so that is it. Thank you so much for, uh, for attending my class today, everybody. I appreciate it more than I can ever tell you. Um, it really, really, really blows my mind how, uh, how all of you actually come and spend all this time with me every week. So thank you so much. It really makes, uh, it really makes my day. Thank you very, very, very much. And that's it. So uh, I'm going to head off. Julian, please don't forget to give me your ultra wide screen. I have, a, I have an NVIDIA video card recommendation. Put it on the Discord. And, uh, and I'll check it out. I, uh, actually, I think I'm going to go to the store after this video to look at some, uh, to look at some monitors. So um, that's it. So uh, good luck, you guys, with the movie quote of the week. Try to beat uh, lightning fingertip <laughs> summer, which is almost impossible. Um, oh, great. Mahmoud says he really enjoyed learning with us, which is great. I know, right? Everybody here is nice, Mahmoud. Everybody that comes to the class is awesome, and uh, we try to have fun here. So uh, you guys are welcome. You're welcome, Rosa. You're super, super welcome. OK, I'll let you guys go. So as usual, until I see you guys next time, next Wednesday, 
same time, 3 p.m. Vancouver time. Good morning, good evening, and a good night. we